Hey guys, so we've got the Hyundai i20, uh, 2010 model, but it goes through from 010 through to about 012 in this model, but even 015, it's all the same setup. Um, I've got the 1.4 cylinder motor and it's got a miss in it. Um, we're just gonna jump in here and show you what that looks like. Okay, so you're just starting the car. And if you can hear that, it's only running on probably three cylinders, I suspect, and the engine light will come on. It was on. Um, after it's been running for a little minute, the engine light will come on again. I'm going to plug the OBD scan tool in, and we're going to see what the code comes up as, but I would say it's probably uh, plugs or misfire of some sort. There we go. Engine light's just starting to flash, so it's just recognised after a period of time that it's not running right, and we're going to plug the scan tool in just to see what the code says. Can do an OBD2 test. Key needs to be in the on position. See your lights are on your dash. Here we go. We're gonna read codes. Let's see what it says. Stored codes, it would have stored that. There we go. Cylinder two misfire detected. So that's really easy. It even tells you which cylinder is failing. And we're gonna be looking for a problem with uh, coil, plugs or lead, especially on that second cylinder. Uh, we'll recheck the plug gaps and, and make sure the plugs don't need replacing and uh, There we go. That's why the engine light comes on if it's running rough uh, It's running on three cylinders or two cylinders um, You can tell pretty well straight away when that engine light comes on it, it runs really rough if it's running on two or three cylinders um, And then every now and then it will come right again in this car and it the engine light goes off and Runs fine for a while then the engine light will come back on again and it'll misfire again So um, we'll jump under the bonnet and we'll uh, find the problem Okay, so there's all the coils. We'll unbolt number two. We'll have a look at the plug in it. Um, it goes uh, one, two, three, four away from the front of the engine, which is the um, driver's side of the engine. And we'll work out where the problem is, whether it's the coil, the plugs, or the, um, the coil lead or something, but it's possibly a coil. Um, we'll be able to determine whether it is the coil by swapping the coil to number one and see if it brings up a different code for the misfire. If it does, then it means the coil shot. Um, if uh, we pull the coil out and it's just a cracked plug or a, a misfiring plug because the gaps aren't set correctly, then um, we'll just gap the plugs or we'll put new plugs in it, which will be the best thing, um, and make sure it's right from then on. So we just pull the coil out, um, and it's pretty straightforward. You just pull this grey tab back on, on the plug, and then it slides off the coil. Uh, a 10 mil bolt comes out as well. But when I pulled it out, there's water in the bottom of the coil, um, and there's a lot of water around the bottom of the spark plug. Now that will be shorting between the engine and the top plug if there's moisture all up in there and that's most probably the issue. Uh, I will check the plugs anyway but if you've got water in there down in any of the ports, I'll check all the other ports too, um, then that's going to short out and cause a misfire. It's dry. Number one's dry. Number two's wet. Keep the coils in order so we know which one's which. Number three has a little bit of moisture, but not as much as two. Number four looks like it's dry. The only plugs that have major water is number two, and that's the one we have misfire on. I think we found the problem. Just put a tube attachment on the end of the vacuum cleaner to get right down into the port, um, and we'll suck that water out. actually water in three at least so uh, we've got all the water out of all of them so it won't continue um, but yeah we'll uh, check those plugs now and uh, should have it fixed if you can see down there we've got the very fine tip and I'll check the measurements these plugs weren't changed long ago so uh, the plugs are going to be fine I'd say it's just the moisture around the end of the spark plug that's shorter from the coil to the engine head 
and um, caused the misfire. It was good to find the water around cylinder two especially because that's where the misfire was. So if you've washed your engine down or uh, had any water around the engine in the past or um, like this car, you just might not know why, but there's water down in the ports um, and it can short out. I'm just going to vacuum again around the end of the coils just to make sure that they're dry as well before I put them back in and then we'll see how she starts. Plug on, grey clip pressed back in to retain it. Plug on, grey clip back in. Just make sure they're firm, not overly tight to crack anything. Firm. Same thing, you don't want to open tighten bolts. Just want them firm. Beautiful, let's get in their car and we'll find out um, if that code is gone. So first test is just to start the car and see if it's running rough. Running very smooth now. Sounds like it's running on all four. Uh, the engine light is still on, but what I'll do now is attempt to clear the code and hopefully that'll get rid of the light. Okay, so I've just erased the codes after turning the car off. No codes are stored. And uh, what I'll do is start the car again and hopefully we have no engine light now. There she goes. Running beautifully and smooth on four cylinders again. No misfire, no engine code, and the job's fixed. So check your spark plugs. Uh, quite often it is spark plugs. The gaps might be uh, widening, uh, especially if it's done 80, 100,000 Ks or more. Um, 150,000 Ks, you'd assume that it, it, it would need new plugs. This one's had new plugs recently. It was just a matter of water in the bottom of the spark plug ports, misfiring against the coil to the engine head. So that's a pretty simple thing. If you've had anything like that water around your car, that'll be the issue, but otherwise, check your coils. If your coils fail on number two cylinder, swap your cylinder coils from one to the other, and then see if the code comes up on the different cylinder. And that can rule out which problem it is, whether it's a plug or a coil. If the fault goes to cylinder one after you swap cylinder one and two coils, and brings up a code for cylinder one misfire then, then you know it's the coil and need to buy a new coil. So it's an easy way to diagnose which coil is faulting. So yeah, hopefully that helps guys and we'll see you again soon.